the competition yeah. But if you go against me, yeah. you the opposition But if you want to test look like you can close the distance I'ma give an A for effort since you're so persistent uh, With you, on this practice it Cause I'm back to back, let's get back to winning As a matter of fact, I'm not that forgiving Cause you did this to yourself, that's a bad decision I don't see no one in front of me You is a ghost, you ain't got a soul Whoa, always say that they gon' come for me No one they won't, they doing the most Whoa, this is my heart Uh, there was uh, a. <laughs> the camera's over there. Say I love you to Tim. <laughs> Rex, my Ferrari takes my girl. This is how I manage this when you're not in one place. I don't work it in an office every day. But if you want to know behind the scenes, this is part of it. It's like living with teenagers. Hey. I love the nice shirt, man. You like the shirt you want one? Yeah. 110,000 miles of sitting in the sun. How was your weekend? It was good. How was yours? Not bad. Unboxed this thing. But as you can tell, there's a problem with it. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I was filming the video, and I'm not sure the final edit will look, but I'm actually, I'm unboxing all pumped. I'm stopping and looking at it, and I look at the camera and say, stop recording. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh... It's a little unfortunate, especially, uh since we waited and it was a lot of money. Well, the only solution is you have to entirely wet sand every panel and re-clear it. The good news is now when we're assembling it, like we're scratching it. Yeah, that's true. And it's gonna get scratched, because like, I, I was trying to figure out how to lay this thing out to figure out how it all goes together. I'm like, and there's no instructions. It's quite a puzzle. So it's a mic problem. <laughs> but I think today we'll do the front end, because the front end is pretty simple. Okay. Hey Mark, how are you? I'm good, man. You sound groggy. How are you? Uh, I worked late last night. I have some headaches to deal with today, which you guys will join me for. Uh, SVJ insurance has proven to be a really big challenge. It's currently uninsured sitting in the dealership. The dealership wants it gone this week. Oh. James will store it, but how do I get to James's house? Well, James is bunker. Uh, you know, if it gets on a trailer, how's it covered? When it's in the parking lot getting loaded, how's it covered? When it gets there, does he have, like, does all, you have a million dollar car, like, it's no joke. Yeah. So, is there just, like, transporter insurance? That's what I'm working on today. I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure out a bunch of stuff out. Boring stuff. Legal stuff. But, more importantly, we need to make a lot of videos in this build. Yeah. So, today we'll do, uh, we'll solve the front end. Yeah. By we, I mean, my guess. FD Chapman. I hear him coming. Are you coming? Is he here? I hear the uh, Cayman vacuum out front. Is this Trump here? No. Oh, that's um, that's oh, your guys. Mike show up when he wants to show up, hey? <laughs> I uh, redid my office last night. I was sitting there and I was like, I'm, my brain, if I'm not in a comfortable environment, I have a hard time doing task work. I hate task work. So I'm like, I'll take some time. And I did a lot. Did a lot. Did a lot. I went to Target and bought some of the handmade jackets. Oh, good. Can I take one of those uh, closets? Yeah. Yeah, to get the, of the office. Yeah. You guys' office, we need to take care of that because we bring new people along. They walk in there, like that's their work environment. I guess they got behind the camera. Uh oh. Oh, look at this. Bloody job, like I said. What's up? What's all this? You know what you did. This is uh, your day, week, month. <laughs> yep. So. More projects. Um, that, that, as you can tell, the finish is so it has to get wet sanded. The good news is you don't have to be super um, gentle installing this. Yeah. I brought in a polisher and the guy was like, it's just a thin layer of, of clear that you'll burn right through it. Yeah. You can get it better, but I'm like, I don't know what Damon's vision is for a wrap. I don't know what Damon's vision is for most things in life. I have not seen a render of this car. Yeah. I don't know what it looks like. I know it's a lot wider because that fender is sitting on the line right Dude, now. It's and it's <laughs> Four inches. Yeah. Well, just look at the headlight piece. Like, it's much, much longer. Very stretched. Very so stretched. I think today we'll do the front end because the front end actually looks pretty straightforward because it's actually just mounting points. Yeah. yeah. The back section. Well, there's still a lot of brackets and cheap. Yeah, like the channel by itself. What the f is going on? Mark's doing that. 
Yeah. Kids, kids with their toys. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll do the front end, and then there's pieces missing. <clears throat> the hood's coming, hopefully today. Okay. The rear quarters aren't here, or the rear rockers, pardon me. So I was going through, and I was like, where's the back of this car? Oh, you've got everything. I'm like, not exactly. Not exactly. Yeah, it's the full, like, basically the part that's missing on the rear is still missing in the kit, right? Correct. Yeah. But that'll be here. Um, I have the tracking number, I'll check in a second. Yeah. But my goal would be is to get this car banged out, like just do daily uploads. Sorry, Jamie. Uh, just get it done <laughs> as much as we can get done. The only thing that we're not replacing is the doors, but there's a door section actually come on this side. Like a lower panel, right? Yeah. Um, this section is. here replaces that, but apparently it's glued on. Okay. Oh. So we'll have to break that off, get the door over to King's, get it painted. Yep. Which sucks because this is actual paint. Yeah, they're gonna have to sand that down too because they have to get that flat. Huh. Um, so if we get the doors off, get that sent over for paint, get the front end on, then by tomorrow the rear quarters show up. I mean, you have any concerns about mounting, Mike? I have no idea. I'll let you know well, I'll tell you what, when we get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks. Looks like it's pretty good. Like the finish inside here is nice. It's not like hacked. The holes look like they were drilled properly. So hopefully they line up. And you, you know where this goes, right? Oh yeah, that's that thingy. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that one thingy. That just goes there. Um, most of these parts might go. This is the challenge of the new light. Hey, you, you got this, right? That's a 450. Yeah, you See any, any mount hit points on that? Where, where does that go? I don't know. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some... Uh, you got to get the big pieces on and then just figure out. Yeah, I do have... He's sending the renders today, so I'll have a picture of the render. <laughs> okay. That shows the whole car by section. Like, each cutout piece, where it goes. But, like, this piece here, this is what we polished yesterday. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. As you can see, it came out pretty good. Yeah. But, like, if you get in the light... Oh, actually, that's actually come out really that good. That one looks good. Yeah, I think that's the bottom actually. This probably is a part of a that's what it's um, like a side skirt. Yeah, mm. that's what it looks like. Mm. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think I have to figure out what the manufacturer is compensation for the wet setting stuff because that's going to cost money. Yeah. Ironically, the Squadra corset was all wet carbon on the inside. If that's the right term or not. And I had it. I had to turn it to dry. So they took it, sanded it, did it. It was like three hundred bucks. Yeah, it was cheap. So and basically it was glossy, yeah. and they basically put like a mat. Yeah, they sanded it down and put a mat clear on it. Yeah. It's cool. Mirrors and everything got done. Hmm? You don't like Matt? You know what? I think it's cool. I thought it looked... <laughs> Mike likes it because Mike likes actual real carbon used for the sake of what carbon fiber is meant for. Yeah. I like show carbon fiber because I don't drive race cars, so I think it looks cool. But um, like on the, uh, the actual uh, race car over there, I think the mat looks better. Because when you have three different versions of gloss on the car, it looks really weird. Tim, what do you think? Real car. Are you saying Dave's car is not a race car? No, Dave's car is more of a race car than any car I've ever had. That's for sure. <laughs> well, it's not a race car. It's a street car. But it has race car parts on it. It's the most race car uh, Gallardo of any Gallardo. That's not a race car. <laughs> Except for the race cars that were the race cars. <laughs> Those Gallardos. Those Gallardos <laughs> are really race cars. But this is the most because race car of oh. any guy right now. I got to, um, I just tried, I did it all yesterday by myself. Trying to get a video was really hard. Yeah. I was just like, I'm pocket boxing a body kit. And it's not exciting because it's got problems. So I was like, okay, I mean, it's exciting, it's cool. But Damon was super deflated. He was like, come on. Yeah. But um, then I took the box outside and I crushed it. I saw that. That's cool. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> what else did I do? Did you get any uh, nails in the, in the tires? I cleaned them all up after. Okay. I went over after and swept everything up. Yeah. And there's screws. Just don't park cars in that. Over there. Over <laughs> in that area. <laughs> Where is that? In the car park. <laughs> um, so we'll figure out what sponsors we have to film. We have a bunch right now. Uh, my head's kind of getting wrapped around it. And there's one Insta360 has to be on the 26th of September. They want what the whole video is about. I'm like, I don't even know what tomorrow's video is about. I think I figured that one out. I did Celsius yesterday. Celsius is done. I have to do ship station today. Mm. It's on Tim. 
uh, Rock shipper. form we're going to add into the video that I filmed that goes up tomorrow. So uh, I'll sit in the truck and do it. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll do dailies. We are hiring uh, potentially another full-time video editor. So someone that can do long form and short form. Uh, not on camera, no camera work, just sit in the office and just bang out edit. So if you have experience with YouTube at a high level, so you have a resume that shows you've done edits for other channels, hit me up. Yeah, I think Photoshop would be a benefit as well. But more importantly, right now when we're daily uploading, that's a lot on one person. Yeah. What's for lunch? Just, <laughs> yeah, we're just planning ahead. It's the most important decision. You know what, though? Oh, actually, do you know what? Yesterday I ordered a really good Italian sandwich from this place. I'll order those. It was really good. Yeah. yeah that was really good. Like Italian sandwiches? Yes. Yeah, I'll order those. It was delicious. You like Italian sandwiches? I do. Do you? I think so. I, I like sandwiches. It must be a different I like Italy. Italy. Oh, jeez. Dave retooled his office. Wow! Right? I got, um... Oh, this is sick. I went to Target and got some of my coats that are not lying around. My hats and my shoes. Mm. I hung up a Dude, small, little, no. small squawk. <laughs> I love this thing. It's hilarious. It's so cool. I even ran the electrical upstairs and plugged it upstairs so the wire would be coming down. Uh. Then I got the bar cart back from Mark's office. Well, the team's room. For my uh, stuff, and then I put, do you think so I put the lights here? Oh my goodness. I must, I must say, when it's dark outside, it's a vibe in here with purple lights on there. I do. And I got the sound bar that Mark and I bought the other day. Dude, you just took everything that was cool from my office. <laughs> <laughs> you just took everything yeah. that was yeah. cool Not from the entire that. building. That's called leadership. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take, um, tonight if I have time, print off like random size of like really cool photos, like from Damon and I at Gumball and all the creative experiences, mm -hmm. and the whole wall will be like a collage of photos. A small frame, big frame, just like a, like a wall of it. So that way, Damon and I need to sit down and have a chat or whatever. We can come in here and it's like actually conducive to relaxing. Otherwise, it's just it's a yeah. show. We do have to do um, the other office that you guys work in. Can I get one of these? Oh, I there won't be room myself. for it. Yeah. Take, take a locker. Yeah. I have all this stuff here because like my living situation is com complicated. I live part time in one place. To another, so I don't really have a home base. But also, it doesn't make sense for you to like carry all of these kinds of things in luggage every time you fly over here. So, yeah. having separate wardrobes Take makes a seat. sense. Take a seat, just, wanna, uh, just have a quick review. Uh, he was there, brought to uh, our attention. Um, oh, yeah, by uh, some co workers. Monday morning at the DDHQ. <laughs> Do you guys usually have a production meeting? Is Eddie here today? No, he's not here today. He's okay. out of town. Perfect. We'll sit down. We'll kind of plan out the week. I'm here till Wednesday at two, but I'm not back for a while because I go home. It's my anniversary play, fiance, and then I have my kids for a week, and then it's a Morgan Wallen concert. I'm going with Damon and Tasha, so I'll be back for like, like, like two and a half weeks. Didn't you just get engaged? How do you already have an anniversary well, for sort of dating? Uh, so what, what? How does that work? Do you just reset the clock, or, or do you get just... married? Mm. Is that the rule? Yeah, not when you're engaged. You don't celebrate engagement's not anniversary. I mean, I'm probably supposed to, but I ain't. <laughs> you have to in life. You it's easy It's easy dates. to skip things. Like, like a, oh, I'll, I'll celebrate my birthday. I never used to do that. My birthday, I never even cared about it. But then one day you're going to be dead. It'll be sick. And you're like, man, I should have done some stuff. I should celebrate the small things like an anniversary, right? So it's like, you need to make these things a priority. Because it's easy to say, oh, work, 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 or whatever. And we have fun at work and it's a passion at it. But man, I'm a twice divorced guy, you gotta enjoy the little things in life because it can change real quick. It can get real quick too. Like we all have our health right now. Isn't it crazy? Like tomorrow this could all, yep. you can keep also being a wheelchair tomorrow. So that you never use a finger break ever again. Yeah. Can you not have the strobes on? Look at a child. Dude. Hey dude, they're in your office. This is your interior design. I like that one. So anyways. Dude, how come your office is so cool all of a sudden? That's not fair. Because I <laughs> did it last night. I spent all night doing it. Well, when you leave on Wednesday, I'm going to... Tonight, tonight I'll help I'm you. I'm going to pull everything out of the... What we need to do in that office is you need to pull the carpet up, put linoleum, lab, laminate floors down, get four matching desks in there, yeah. get all your yeah. out of there, take a locker. I, I empty my locker out. I don't need it anymore. Yeah. And make it like... That office with four guys working in there needs to be nice. Because yeah. if we bring a new guy in, which exactly. we have, it's like you walk in, it's like, this is DDEHQ. Yeah. We need to show some more pride in it. So we need to find someone to come throw some linoleum flooring down, cheap and quick. Throw it down, right? Don't even trim the floors. Four matching desks, the TV's in the middle. We'll do a, a console table, there's stuff. Mike's office is even worse. 
I don't care though. Well, if you were working in there 40 hours a week, you probably would. Yeah, it's, I, I like run in my office, I jump on the computer and draw something up in uh, the CAD, print it out, go back, run over to the plasma table, cut it out, and then that's all, that's all I do. I walk in my office in the morning and set my keys down and I go back in there, pick my keys up when I leave. But yeah, today is gonna be a busy one. I think the front end won't be too bad looking at it, even like from an idiot's perspective. Uh, and we'll give the audience a really cool, like, cause it's gonna look like, to give them some hope in it. Yeah. And then um, hopefully it goes pretty smooth and we get a car shipped to Canada to get inspected. So, um, and then we have a bunch of F12 videos in the bank we have to go through. And then Damon apparently is buying another car this month. What? So we'll film that in Kelowna. My 599's in Kelowna. I had um, August Motor Cars fix the shift lead that I bent. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'll explain that later, that was my fault. And then do some adjustments and then replace the battery and do tires on it. I gotta figure out what to do with that car. If I wanna build this Bentley, right, I'm gonna need the car in the US dollars is like 200 ish, and the kit's like 80. Yeah. And right now, these rates suck. Like, maybe you can find the car for 200 ish used, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've already found them in Canada. Like, like, like 275 Canadians, like 200. People said you should buy one from Copart. The problem with that is a few problems. They're not cheap. Like, I don't know what's going on, but you go on Copart for a wrecked Bentley Continental GT that's like, 130 for a wrecked one. I'm like, then you have a branded title, then I have to get inspected. Then it's in a US car. I don't have, I don't live here. So if I get it from Canada, I can lease it with like 5% down. So I can get it like, let's say I put down like 25 grand, get the car, payment's gonna be 3,500 bucks a month. But then I have all that cash from the 599 because the 599 have a lot of equity in it, yeah. and that would pay for the kit. Yeah. Because the 599 put down like 60 grand on it, and then that, you have the conversion kit in it now. You've got wheels from Damon, thanks to Damon. You've got the exhaust, like all those things. KW suspension. That car should go for 300 yeah. to the right buyer. But, and you see the back bumper fix. Tim, why don't you explain to the audience actually? We were told the story. The back bumper of the 599, what happened? Um, there was a- Look at the camera, Tim. What happened? Look at the, <laughs> camera. the camera's over there. Look at the camera. What happened? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a mysterious box that showed up behind it. And- so, uh, the, the main issue is that the the four post lifts in the shop got put buried against the wall and they're about 14 foot long maybe 15 foot long posts from end to end and cars are longer than that so basically the front of the car is hanging off the four post lift and the back of the car is literally like against the wall and then there are outlets like on the outside. So there's the tubes and the whole outlets that are sticking out from the wall. And then like other things stacked on top of that, which I don't even know what they are. Like, I don't know. They like are. Wi-Fi extenders or something like that. So They're, it's like uh, something that's chargers. sticking like this far out of the wall. And usually cars on the lift, you like, it, there's enough clearance, but there is not. So at the bottom of the wall, it's straight. And then all of a sudden it sticks out like almost a foot. And uh, yeah, Tim was putting it up and heard some crunch noises. Yeah. The, uh, the rear of a 599 is a little bit longer than the rear of an F12, if anybody wants to know. Tim, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you hate me? What? Do you hate me? No. Do I want to damage my dream car? That was your dream car? No. <laughs> <laughs> the, five, the 599 is sick. The 599 is sick. The downside with that car is the only have fun in it is to do dumb, dumb stuff in it. So that means track. But then if we the track, I'm not gonna take the 599, I'll take a race car or something that's really crazy. Yeah. So that's the one thing about it, which like it's fun, but it's so loud. Yeah. Like it's just asking for serious trouble. I have it in Kelowna right now. The drive around my fiance is gated community. Like it, even like when you're driving like anything about 4,000 RPM, like second gear off throttle. Yeah. Oh, people in Canada aren't ready for that. You know, so. We'll see, and or maybe I just keep the 599 and do some crazy kit on it. Find someone to make the FXX kit for it, or even a GTO kit. Yeah, there's a company in Poland that'll make that GTO conversion kit for 12 grand. Hmm. The argument there is, do I buy the kit, get content, and then the car's worth more? I don't know. What would you do if you're me, Mike? Hmm. Well, making content is uh, something we need to do That's always. What we do. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you can get the kit for that cheap, I mean, if you already have. 
to do some paint work on the car. Yeah. Do the kit, make it look crazy. I just need to see how much time I have with M Sport. Like I can't right now go and take ninety thousand dollars from the company and buy a body kit to sit on it. We're not. I mean, could we do it? Yeah, but it's just really bad business sense with all we have going on right now with like the real builds. Yeah. Like the Bentley is cool, but it's not going to be the car that goes and slides around corners and makes this crazy YouTube video that we want to do, right? Yeah. It's just fun. I feel the audience is really bought into it right now. I'm bought into it. I get tagged. I get messages every single day. Mm -hmm. Any Bentley that's ever posted anywhere now, I get tagged in it, which is really cool. Yeah. Like people are into that storyline. I can make 12 really good videos of the build series. So it'd be number one, buy, team delivery of the Bentley Continental GT. There's a video. Yeah. Number two, fly into Germany to confront the con artist with security. I don't want to get beat up. Time my thumbnail, get punched in the face might work. Uh, number three, go into England to M Sport to watch the manufacture of the kit. And all of a sudden, a few weeks later, take delivery of the kit, unbox the kit here, tear down the car, and you have some serious challenges. The hood has venting into it, right? Mm -hmm. So how's that work with a factory car? Yeah. The side exit exhaust, which one of you guys, by the way, was at F1 in Singapore and the GT3 was there. And they went and took pictures of the exhaust no. setup for me and showed me how it no. runs actually in the side skirt yeah. outside the car, which is pretty cool. Um, figure out the exhaust out, side exit exhaust. M Sport also makes turbos for that car to upgrade the turbos. Oh, sick. Somebody from M Sport that works there messaged me about that. They're like, hey, by the way, I work there and we've got turbos on the shelf right now. Upgraded turbos for it. We already discussed performance upgrades. The fun part well, of this build is that no one's ever done it, so it's like no one knows. You also, like in a race car, almost every single one of those GT cars are gonna run an 18 inch wheel. Yeah. But they're gonna run like a, a 330, 710 or something, like yeah. a massively wide, 330 wide with a 710 height tire, which is way bigger than anything you'd run on the street. But you could put like 22s on it with yeah. a decent sized tire yeah. and you could fill that. And it would look appropriate on that car too. I think it would actually look, you could get some really cool looking wheels on there. It's a really exciting build. It might have to wait till after SEMA, obviously, and all that stuff. Like, there's only one Mike Essa. Unless we brought another fabricator to help yeah. with stuff like this. Yeah, we could. So we actually had this conversation the other day about taking some of our capital right now because David made a cash injection, plus we've had some brand new money drop. We sold some cars and going, where we own our leases, what's the highest interest rate is paid off. Because right now, like the squad is 12%. So I, I owe on that car, I think, put a big down payment on it. I think I owe 150 on it. So what's 12% of 150? $18,000 a year in interest. Yeah. And if I have cash in the bank making 2%, 1 1.9, yeah. it makes more sense to pay off the car. The only downside is, is the tax because now it's, I have to depreciate the asset mm -hmm. versus the lease payments are full right off. We've been through this before with you guys. People say, oh, you guys lease your cars, you're idiots. Yeah. Yeah, we lease a car and then do, build an F12 build on it and give it back after. Like, uh, anyway. Yeah. It's tax strategy. But what's cool is the 720 we own. Yeah. Outright, that's our car. Uh, the race car, obviously, we own because you can't finance that. And then most of the cars now, like SVJ is almost paid for, F12 is nearly there. Um, what else do we have right now? Because in the beginning, we would put down like 25, 30, 40%, which we don't want to do. I want to put on nothing. Yeah. But um, the banks have gotten more, the higher the rates, the more lenient on the down payment for some reason. Probably because no one's spending money right now. Yeah. 12% rate on a car. Like, think about it. The SVJ was a million dollars. Now the rate on that car, I think it's 4.9 because it was back in the day. But even then, 50,000 a year in interest. Yeah. And I know you don't believe in borrowing <laughs> money for that reason. Like you would like to pay cash for things. Well, it makes sense sometimes. You know, it just depends on how much money is coming in. It's the tax benefits. Like you might actually save money in the long run yeah. by paying that interest because you're not paying, you know. But for you personally, like if you, you wouldn't go out and buy a brand new vehicle from a dealership at, at 9%. I wouldn't buy a brand new anything. You wouldn't buy a brand new anything. Sorry. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. We're just in a meeting right now. Oh, got it. Sorry, I haven't heard from you. Yeah, I know. I went with the boys last night and things got carried away again. You know me. I mean, you get one hall pass and I guess you used it. I had a hall pass? <laughs> we were just discussing that it's our two year anniversary and um, Mark says, who cares about things like that? And I said, well, <laughs> I do, Mark. I just said that. I literally just said that. I showed the boys the uh, office setup now. Yeah. What do you think? Mark's a bit jealous. Mark wants their office to be nice. And I said, well, spend three hours of hard earned sweat and tears and bile and semen, and, and you can do the same thing. Three hours a piece? 
three. I organized 99% and it still took you three hours. Uh, let me call you back in five minutes. Okay, I gotta jump on calls because I also have a job. I'll call my people, I'll call your people. Just have your assistant call my assistant. Tim? He can't afford an assistant. Okay, love Hello. you, bye. Did you say I love you to Tim? <laughs> love you, Tim. Rex my Ferrari, takes my girl. <laughs> you gotta watch the quiet ones. It's always the quiet ones that hit you first. Okay, love you. I am doing some work right now. So we're filming a vlog for the main channel right now, but I'll pop in and out because I don't need to be in every scene. Obviously with the build stuff, Mike's very qualified. I'll get in there and kind of make it fun where it sees fit. But right now I'm just going through and producing a uh, to-do list. So I find for my brain, if I don't write it down, it doesn't get done. That's why I don't like phone calls. Damon loves calling me. Damon, hey, let's do a chat. I'm like, for my brain, send me a text. I'll take the text, I'll put it in my Trello board, which is right here. This is Trello. So you can see here I have, really simple, to do, doing, done. So if I have a list of what I have to get done, I have a list of what I'm working on, when it's done, I put it over there. And I leave it there in case I have to go back to it. So a lot of it's boring stuff, taxes, uh, employment contracts, insurance issues, uh, and a royal, edu or a registered education savings plan for my daughter. So that's some personal stuff on here. But I have it all in here so that I can check on it quickly. I also put attachments in here. So like, for example, the insurance, I can take notes when I'm working on. When I get a quote, I put it in here so it's in one place. This is how I manage this when you're not in one place. I don't work in an office every day. I'll be in Huntington Beach, or I'll be in Kelowna, or I'll be in Enamel, or I'll be on Gumball. With something like this, I can have it on my phone in one place and it makes it really easy. Uh, I still screw things up. I don't like doing this. I do wear two hats here. Damon actually mentioned that in a meeting the other day. Like Dave kind of has that creative side and the compliance side. I don't love the compliance part of it. Uh, it's really boring, but I'm good at it. And I know what questions to ask. And when I don't get really involved, we get into trouble with accountants. So that's kind of the, the, the flow I've found. I would like to at one point hire someone just to, if I could have my dream, right now I'd have like an assistant or whatever you call that title, a manager, that basically just manages and be like, hey, you need to do this right now. Hey, you do this right now. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, when I wasn't producing vlogs and things on cameras a bit easier, but now when you're filming, for me anyways, when I make a vlog, I am so focused. Every part of my body is thinking about that video, what to say, how to say it, how to pace it. Am I talking too fast? Am I mumbling? Where's this going? Where Damon can film a video and just do it in the moment and not have to think it through. For me, if tomorrow I'm filming a, a Bentley video, I have the entire video in my head, jokes I'm going to say, things I'm going to do, uh, every element I've worked through in my brain the day before, and it takes up all my energy. So I have a hard time going between the creative and the compliance side. I kind of have to take time to dedicate to compliance, which I'm doing right now, which is why I wanted to clean my office so I'm not distracted. This is just my brain. If there's crap everywhere, I don't want to be in this room, I don't want to do it. We're now actually want to come in here. I feel relaxed and I can focus on some of these things that are very, very boring that you're probably not interested in doing. But if you want to know behind the scenes, this is part of it. Hi, can I help you with your order? Thank you. This is a good sample. This is good. Ready? Hey, we just got food delivered. Tim, you want to eat? Timmy, you hungry? <laughs> Tim, we've always liked a foot long. Mark. 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 Mark doesn't like food. This one says Dave on it. This one says Dave on it. Dude, Dave, you only got sandwiches for yourself? It is mine. These were 20 bucks a piece? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? Dude. Dog. <laughs> These better be really good. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Sorry, Nice. I was going to move it around so they could uh, get to everything, but looks like they're already done. Shiny. My cabin's looking a little better. It's still uh, 110,000 miles of sitting in the sun. But it does have a hole in there. So I have to go to the bank because I have a new bookkeeper. I have to add them to my Chase account for access. I did all of it and it says unknown error at this time. I'm like, this is the stuff that just kills time. Like it is now three o'clock. We filmed six minutes of a video. 
Uh, Damon is flying in tomorrow for one day, and on Wednesday he goes to Florida to film a special project. Uh-huh. Wednesday I fly home. It's my uh, two year anniversary as mentioned earlier. And then uh, my kids for a week. And then we're going to a Morgan Hall concert. Damon, Tasha, and myself in the court. We go see Morgan Hall and country. I was gonna say I don't know who that is. It's a country music artist that's popular right now. Huh. I'm not much into country. Both of our wives, my fiance David's wife, like country music. Uh, so they enjoy it. And I actually don't mind Morgan Wall and some of this music. There's also a huge Happy Jewelers customer. Which in fact I have to go to Happy Jewelers to buy my fiance a two year anniversary gift. What should I get her? You're asking the wrong guy. You don't buy jewelry? No. Never? No. What would you get your wife for an anniversary gift? Natural light for the afternoon? Yeah. No, usually we'll go out to eat, like, we'll go to sushi or something like that, but she's she's not into expensive jewelry. Um, Neither so. was my fiance and Toy. I started working with Happy Jewelers, I get a good deal on stuff. Yeah. However you want, she's like, <laughs> and we'll go in there and they're like, Courtney, what do you what do you want? Come on, wear it. Put on like a $300,000 bracelet, I'm like, take that off. <laughs> the cool thing with Happy Jewelers is you don't have to spend a bunch of money. Even for like 200 bucks, you can get a cool something there. Yeah. So, I don't know, she likes jewelry right now. <laughs> Two years in, I've already <laughs> myself. Pumpkin spice latte time, Is it, are they out yet? Really good. Really good. So, was my favorite. Cassiello was, was brought out for fine dining in restaurants in Chicago and Seattle. So Howard Schultz would go into a coffee sh- to a restaurant and ask for coffee dessert and it was awful. So he developed Cassiello, a seasonal. It's always available in restaurants, certain restaurants, but seasonal in the stores. This is actually from the fine dining. Mm-hmm. Principle of chocolate. Okay, it's really Thank you so much. Number four, I believe. We all have numbers. We do like paper filters, stuff like that. Oh, we do have numbers. <laughs> Four. Anything else? Yeah, I'll do a grande um, brown sugar oat chicken espresso. One petite Italian scone. Do you want one? I'll do, uh, yeah, I'll do the same. Two of those. What do you want? You're good? He's fourth ball, I can't talk. <laughs> so recently, Starbucks got some hot water because they've been known for union busting. They don't want unions. When I worked there, by the way, I was not allowed to talk about this. This was like a big thing. Any any notion of union activity, we'd have an emergency meeting. If they had to, they would close the store down. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Try that. Howard Schultz got busted, bullying employees wanting to unionize, and to speak in front of the Senate. And now he's no longer the CEO. That's a big thing. I remember when I worked there though, it was like any union talk. Go oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, customized it? Yeah, so it has a Dura- Duramax swap, uh, built Allison transmission, 40 inch wheels, the wheels obviously, so and the awesome. bar. Guess what this is worth today? I was shocked. I didn't pay this much for it. Um, how much is it worth? Right now. Oh, so right now. 285. 285. <laughs> <laughs> that fucked up? Damn. <laughs> Get in there. I'm getting it? No way. Oh, it's <laughs> That's. Are you in the military? No. No. First YouTubers. Yo, this is sick. What? Looks like you're going to war. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> this thing has 1,200 foot pounds of torque and 550 it's horsepower. inch wheels? Yeah. Is that TikTok? There you go, you got it. Oh, oh, yeah. This is a big page. <laughs> we do YouTube mostly, Instagram is just for fun. But follow us on YouTube. Let's we'll see the video. That's awesome. Bikes yeah. too? We watch the channel. No bikes. No bikes? Just cars. Bikes don't convert on our channel. Off road stuff, like, even the Hummer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a video on the Hummer, a lot of the audience didn't like it. I snaked you guys yeah, though. I snaked you to watch the video. <laughs> I knew it, but the Hummer, you wouldn't watch it. You're in my world now. <laughs> what was your name? Yusef. What's your Dave. name? Dave. Dave, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's Mike. Michael. Mike. Nice to meet you. And he's fourth wall. He doesn't talk. <laughs> he moves. <laughs> he does move. Anyways, we gotta run. All right. Take the pictures if you want. Do your thing. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yo, have a good one. You guys get your Lambo fixed? With what? The, the one, one that got smashed up the street?
the window guy? Oh, uh, yeah, that's good because we're still getting a court over it. Yeah, we're getting sued. Apparently in California, you can't do things like that. Sure, it's a dumb idea to smash a million dollar car and block the owner. Anywhere you go, I would say, not just California. Yeah. California's probably the worst. They have punitive damages here. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys get yours. Ah, uh, we will. Right on, man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. You too. Can we go to the bank with us? I guess so. Let's see how fast it's off in the time to stop filming in here. Oh. How are you doing? I, I insist. Oh, yeah. good. Hey. I love your guys' shirt, man. You like the shirt? Do you want yeah. one? We'll yeah, we'll get you one. A large. Okay, hey, might take a shirt off. <laughs> He'll do it too. He'll do it. Can you go in your office? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? Um, I want to add an authorized user, like bookkeeper. Yeah. And have all those errors and stuff. It won't work. Come on in. Oh yeah. Still gotta do that. <laughs> So I sent the boys, Tim and Mark, out to buy some furniture or something for this office. We're expanding and bringing people on right now, the experience. I learned some Starbucks. Treat your employees how you treat your customer. Would you have a customer come in here? If you sold, we don't have customers. But do I want people to come in here and feel at home? Yes, right now it's just nasty. We have to spend some money and get flooring put in. For some reason, there's mismatched carpet here. I think they actually had built-ins here when we got this place. And... They cut out, I don't know. I don't know what they did. It doesn't matter. Uh, I asked them to go and get like a credenza thing, like a media center here, maybe an area carpet. I added the fourth desk because we're gonna have a fourth person in here very, very soon. But your work environment should feel um, inspirational and exciting. Human nature, if there's clutter everywhere, it affects our mindset and how we work. Damon especially. He needs to have a very tidy area. And we've talked about it a lot, the shop is pretty gross. But for years, this place, almost years, for a year, this place, we had no point. It was a store in cars we'd hang out here. Now it's actually turned into an actual production studio, office space with employees. So I want to make sure it's on brand. I've done some work in my office. You guys saw that earlier. This is still a bit of a mess. I have that repeater from Gumball. It's just something for now, but we don't have a receptionist. One day we'll have somebody working here just doing some admin work, maybe a bookkeeper, I don't know yet. So we're gonna play with it a little bit. Right now, we're waiting for IAD from Kings to come over here. So there's a delay in production of the video. I take that time around them sitting around, which sometimes the boys like to do. Uh, not including Mike. And I'll say, okay, cool, let's let's be productive. Let's get something done. So that's organized. We'll get this figured out. We'll get that figured out. Uh, this area here, we don't really use it. It's really a waste of square footage. Uh, we have the TV here, but if the boys want to hang out after work and, and do whatever, They'll use the offices because they're more comfortable. This is not a comfortable space. It's musty in here. And your viewing position when you watch TV, because this thing here is like, it's just awkward. It's a very awkward space. So I don't know what to do. I might, for merch, set up a, a little mock store in the corner to film promos. Again, uh, this is not my forte, but I know this is like, there's just everywhere. It's like living with teenagers. Mom, dad, I apologize when I was a kid. You guys were divorced when I was a kid, that's on you, but separately, I was messy.